So guys, Shane Storms with Droid Modder X. Wokefresh has updated his Nexus Root Toolkit to include support for the Nexus 6 and the Nexus 9 on Android Lollipop and also Android Lollipop on all other supported devices, which is pretty big news. So that means that we can easily one-click our way to an unlocked bootloader and then one-click our way to root with custom recovery on devices like the Nexus 6 and Nexus 9, which is outstanding. Uh, one thing I really love about the Nexus Root Toolkit is the fact that you don't have to go scouring XDA or any other forums for the correct files that are needed. Uh, you know, if you don't know exactly where to look, that can take 30 minutes to several hours to find all the correct files. Uh, this will direct you to all the files or just pretty much tell you what you need and download it for you, which is pretty awesome. Uh, so the first thing that we'll want to do to unlock the bootloader, also you should take note that this will wipe your device's data. So if you have anything important on here, you'll want to make sure that you do back that up. So first we'll go into our settings. We'll go down to about phone. Click on the build number seven times. We're going to developer options. Make sure this enable OEM unlock is checked and then make sure USB debugging is checked. We'll go ahead and plug in our USB cable. Okay, and then you'll see this uh, notification here, allow USB debugging, it has our RSA key fingerprint. We'll go ahead and select always and select okay. From this point, we can set our phone to the side. Okay, and then everything else we'll do from within the toolkit. So we'll go ahead and select unlock. Go ahead and select okay. It's just warning you that it's gonna wipe your data. So we'll go ahead and select okay. Since it needs to be in bootloader mode first, you can either get there yourself or you select yes, it will boot automatically for you. So we'll select yes. Just checking ADB status. You can see what's going on in the live log here. And it's rebooting our device into bootloader mode. Okay, so once we're in bootloader mode, it's gonna go ahead and initiate the fast boot OEM unlock command. Okay, and once it's done the command, uh, you'll see this screen here. It's, the screen basically tells you that this may void your warranty. So uh, we have yes highlighted and we will select the power button to select. So now we are unlocked. You'll see that the device is unlocked, will change to yellow, and we'll say that your device is now unlocked. You'll also see a padlock whenever you are on the Google Boot screen. Okay, so it says wait for your device to finish booting up. It may take a while or appear to be in a boot loop, just wait. Once you're ready to back up, go through the initial setup or skip through it. Now enable USB debugging, and you're now ready to go into the rooting procedure. So we'll go ahead and click OK. Okay, once we have our phone all set up, uh, it did wipe data, so if you want to actually go through the setup process and set up your phone, uh, you can do that. And then when you're finished, you'll come back and select the root button. So I'm going to pause it here and We'll come back and finish up. Okay, so once your device is all rebooted and set back up the way you like it, you want to make sure that you do go back into settings and enable USB debugging and plug in your device. Make sure that you remember to check always allow from this computer and select OK. And we'll set the device to the side for now. You go ahead and select uh, root. If you want to add the custom recovery, go ahead and check custom recovery and then click root. Okay, we'll select OK. Okay, so it's going to go ahead and reboot into bootloader mode. It's booting the modified boot image to enable running privileged commands. So it's gonna go ahead and root the phone. Okay, it's then going to reboot your device. So I have the boot animation screen while it says waiting for your device. As soon as the device boots up, it will continue through the script. Okay, so as soon as it detects the device, it will continue running the script. It's pushing root files to the device now. Okay, now it's rebooting the device into bootloader, so it has officially rooted the device. And uh, it's going to go ahead and flash the recovery. Okay, so it's flashing custom recovery, so it's going to go ahead and flash Team Wind Recovery Project. And it just, as you guys can see, everything's automated. It does everything automatically. Once you initiate it, it pretty much runs its course. And you don't really have to do anything. It pretty much does everything for you. Okay, so you will see that you are now booted into Team Wind Recovery Project. So as soon as this boots up, we should be totally rooted. We now have Team Wind Recovery Project on our phone so we can run custom ROMs and flash custom modifications. And as soon as this boots, we'll verify that we are rooted and that we have Super SU installed. Okay, so we'll go to Super SU and check for binaries. 
So normally if it needed to update the binaries, it would just automatically tell you and give you the option to do so. So apparently we are fully up to date here. And go into the busy box and grant that super user. So we already know that we are totally rooted because it did ask for super user. So we'll kind of let it do its thing. And you guys can see it already says it will be installed to system XBIN, so that's fine. Don't have to change anything there. Okay, so just check, go ahead and click the install, and it should go ahead and install BusyBox. It says it was successful. So now we'll go to, uh, we'll open up Root Checker. And we'll verify root. Okay, it's asking for super user request, so we'll go ahead and grant that. It says, congratulations, this device has root access. So big shout outs to Wokefresh for the super simple, easy way to root our Nexus 6, Nexus 9, and all other Android lollipop and earlier build devices. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. Follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks, guys, for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.